guys crazy postman here so another day another firmware I'm headed back to Lawton right now to try out firmware number 140 I got an email actually when I was on my way home from testing yesterday that said they had this uh, out but I didn't feel like turning around and going back so now I'm headed there today to try out firmware 140 let's go see how this one works okay so here we are authorizing the payment there were some reports that the adapter wasn't working with the data cable not plugged in so I don't have any data cable plugged in right now so we're just testing it just like I would if I was a normal person driving up There it is, it's working. Getting full power. So that's probably uh, 125 amps. I don't have the software running, so I can't tell you. We're gonna go ahead and stop that. So that worked. That was number uh, 139. I'm going to go ahead and put number 140 on and we're going to try number 140. Okay, this is the first try with version 140. I do not have the monitoring software plugged in. This is trying it just as a normal customer would. Sorry about the wind, it's still windy today. Uh-oh. It's clicking. Okay. This one is obviously not going to work. It says uh, communication failed. Okay. This is version 190. Again, I'm trying it just as a normal customer would with no data cable running to my computer. We're gonna see what happens here. The light's blinking. It says initiating. It just looks like it's going to time out again with a communication problem. Yep, there we go. Communication failed again. So 140 may be a bit of a regression here. Uh, let me try it with the communication port plugged in and see what happens. Okay, here we go. I just hit authorize payment. The computer is plugged in this time. Stuff is clicking. None of this clicking happened last time with 40. See, this is charging now with 40. 45 kW. So that was strange. It worked with the data cable plugged in but it didn't work with the data cable unplugged on 140. I'm gonna test that again. I tried twice unplugged. I'm gonna try twice plugged in and see if it works again when it's only when it's plugged in. Okay, here we go. Number 140 uh, plugged into the computer. Test number two. And it's already doing things and yeah, we're charging interesting let me try one more time unplugged just to see for sure I'm a normal customer just plugged in my car no data cable let's see what happens this should fail well, 
stuff is clicking. Uh oh. Yeah, too many clicks. In an interesting turn of events here, it looks like firmware 140 only works when it's plugged into the computer. I'm going to revert my charger adapter to 139 real quick and then try it again. And my money is that it's going to work on 139. Okay, here I am, a normal person. No computer plugged in at all. It's got the adapter in there, but it's not plugged into the computer. And I'm on 139 right now. So this should work. 139 worked for me yesterday. There it goes. All right, I'm gonna get these emails uh, sent back to BTC right away so they can get with their engineers and figure out why uh, firmware 140 kind of had a reversion on us. So, so far, firmware 139 is the one that works at this BTC power station here in Lawton. Version 140 was a no-go because it had that weird issue where it would work if the data cable was plugged in but it won't work if it's just like a normal car, you know, just plugged in normally with no data cable. Thanks for watching this little quickie today. I apologize for the low quality. I just uh, have my cell phone here and I'm going to edit this on my cell phone and just get it uploaded real quick. So no fancy nice 4K today, just uh, 1080p on my phone. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.